Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. So what is Lambda? That's the next question. See, as a part of the compute section, to go ahead and give you a gist of what Lambda is, let me tell you. Lambda is, you, you, have you ever gone ahead and created, um, you know, a script to achieve certain tasks, mundane tasks? If you have, yes. Yeah. So, when you write a script, to execute the script, do you need a server itself? What if I say, every time you want to execute your small script, as and when necessary, we will go ahead and give you the necessary CPU, memory, whatever, hard drive, everything. Okay. When you're not executing that script, we will not go ahead and have that compute infrastructure. So, whenever you run your script, you will be given the compute infrastructure. When you're not running it, you don't have to pay anything for us because we are not allocating any CPU memory or anything like that. So, that's what Lambda is. Lambda is a serverless platform. Okay. When I say serverless platform, you as a user is not given access to any server. Okay. No compute infrastructure is given to you. But every time you want to execute a small piece of code, then for that period of time, even if you are sometimes when if your code is too small, the time taken to execute your code will be less than one millisecond, right? Yes or no? So, for example, if you create a small code, small script, to execute that particular script, how long it will take? One millisecond, two milliseconds? So, for that one millisecond, two milliseconds, you will be charged only for one millisecond. So, your charge is based on millisecond basis. Minimum charge is for one millisecond. Okay. So, what kind of scripts you can go ahead and create and use Lambda. If your code execution time is within 15 minutes, 15 minutes is 900 seconds. If you can create a software code, if your software application, even a mobile application, for example, if that entire application can be executed, the software code can be executed and finished within 15 minutes, that's 900 seconds, that qualifies to be present on Lambda. And not only that, when you create Lambda functions, okay, you have to use only these supported platforms, these supported languages. So, you cannot say I am going to use some other language, Perl or something like that. You can't use. You can only create your software codes using Ruby or Python or Node.js or Java or whatever that is present here. You can't invent or use anything new or anything old that you have been using earlier. No other previous languages is supported. So if you want to use any of these supported platforms using this particular language, if you can create a code and if that code can be executed within 900 seconds, which is 15 minutes, it qualifies to be executed and created as Lambda. Advantages of Lambda is, let's go back here, go to products. Where is Lambda? Compute. Okay. Okay, fine. Come on. Products. Um, see, run the code without thinking about your servers. That's the key word there. You create your software code. Every time you want to run, servers will be allocated for you in the back end. Not servers, it's a serverless platform. Compute will be allocated for you. The advantage is you will be charged for number of times your code gets executed and wait. See here, cost optimization. This is one thing that you should remember. Just in case you are reviewing any of your previous exam questions, please remember this particular uh, service Charging has changed. Earlier days, we used to be charged for 100 milliseconds. Now, the customers are charged for every single millisecond only. So, 
if you run a software code and it gets run for say uh, 10 minutes and 1 millisecond, you will be charged for 10 minutes and 1 millisecond only. Okay. Or if it was, it, it got executed only for one, within 1 millisecond, you will be charged only for 1 millisecond. Okay. So number of times your code is executed into every time it gets executed, how many seconds it takes, how many milliseconds it takes. Based on that, your pricing will Go ahead and be charged. How good, no? Yes or no? Say for example, you want to go ahead and automatically create a snapshot before any server of yours is terminated. Would you want to go ahead and assign a person to sit there and look at if every server is getting terminated? Before that, let me go ahead and create a snapshot. Won't you automate that process? Yes or no? Yes. Take a snapshot before my server is terminated. That's all you have to say, right? So for that, you will you will go ahead and hire a um, developer. That developer, if he knows to write that particular scripting in any of these languages, he will write the script. Even if you don't have a developer, you can use these blueprints. See here, these blueprints are already existing software code. They are telling also very clearly this particular software code, what does it do, which language it is used to create it, okay. So using Node.js 12.x, they have created this particular software code. What does it do? An Amazon Kensis Firehose stream processor to convert input records from syslog to JSON format. So one format to another format, it will go ahead and convert. So in if you're processing if you're fetching a lot of information kensis firehose is where data gets come data comes into your system so if you want to convert from a, a syslog format to a json format there is an automatic converter okay like that they have a lot of uh, what do you say my small small execution codes already given to you if you want to use any of this you could choose to use it or if you want to go ahead and if you are a developer, developers would know it better. So they could just go ahead and check, check for such this one in, uh, what is that, GitHub, okay. So they can look for what do you want to achieve, say, for example, Lambda. Some example, yeah, go ahead and show me. Uh, function in Python, okay. Lambda function for EC2 snapshot. Okay. Uh, so do you have anything? See, there are so many blog sites here. Uh, so there are many, many, many people who would have put some blogs, right? So take a look. This is not from AWS, but this is a blog site from one generous soul here. So he has given very clearly that what does this particular Lambda function do? So it says, uh, this goes ahead and what does it do? We'll build a solution to create nightly snapshot for volumes attached to EC2 instances. Okay. And it deletes any snapshots older than 10 days. Do you follow this example? Every night he wants the snapshot of the EC2 instances that are present. It automatically creates a snapshot. Okay. He could do just with the help of lifecycle management in EC2. But anyways, he is going to go ahead and create it in his own uh, script. So what has he used? He has used uh, what's called as the, uh, the language called Python. He's using Python to do that. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.